thinking. You just don't want to see a nigga. Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have... Hey, yo, man, we got insanity, man. We got... Look, 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 we got India with something to say, man. You know what I'm saying? Ebro hooked the... Uh, pa- pass it along, so we're going to pass it to you. We got Azalea Banks on Lizzo, man. I'll be sure with the documentary. Balenciaga with the trash, man. We got 50 Cent on Diddy, 50 Cent on Stevie J, man. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a little hot in the car. Let me down to turn on the AC. We got uh, Snoop, Snoop's daughter with the... Um, what you gonna call it? And BG. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey, yo, if this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your task. Go and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta give you this India joint. Yo, Source, you're gonna have to let this whole joint ride. This joint is hard, okay? Well, let me let you listen to it first and let me know what you think. Uh, India with something to say, courtesy of E, bro. Take a listen real quick. <laughs> I look, 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 look. Hopefully that joint played, man. You know what I'm saying? Me and my peoples was vibing to that joint because that joint was kind of hard, man. You hurry up and buy. Look, look, look. But at the end of the day, at the, at the end of the day, you got to hurry up and buy and get out. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, hurry up and buy and get out. Hurry up. Like, what are you buying? Okay? Um, uh, You know what I'm talking about, man. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that joint is hot. And I think they're called, I want to say Brown Monday. I think it's called Brown Monday. That's the name of the, I think that's the name of the group. Okay, my people are saying everybody want to be a ninja, but no, nobody want to be a ninja. Well, la, 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 la. who is the who is the famous comedian that said that one? That iconic line. Everybody want to be a ninja, don't nobody want to be a ninja. Every time I am here and see think of that statement, I think of Justin Timberlake. Uh, okay, Azalea Banks has a strong message co- uh, concerning Lizzo. Now, remember we told you the other day that Lizzo s- called it quits. She said she was out. She don't want to be in this whole situation anymore. Um, uh, as a, as an artist, she quit because y'all kept bullying her, talking about her weight and stuff like that. And every time she said she was being dragged, you had something real, real, real foul to say. Okay. Now, Azalea Banks has come through. She said this. She said, "I took back my criticism of you, Lizzo, because it definitely clicked in my mind that I definitely wasn't getting my point about the ways in which insidious people in corporate culture w- were positioning you to push demeaning initiatives. But sis, your handle." Is Lizzo be eaten? You've definitely given the public license to laugh at and with you by twerking at the Burger King counter and bathing in a tub of Skittles. Yo, did she really do that? Damn. Self-deprecation was certainly the aesthetic you chose to introduce yourself with. So I don't see why you'd play victim rather than just stop intentionally inviting people to make jokes about that. You're a beautiful girl with a handle on music theory, Grammy awards and tons of success. Just change the narrative and go highbrow feel harmonic on these itches, I guess she said, and collab with Ryuchi Sakamoto. Close quote. Um... I went to the comments. Everybody was like, this is the first time they believe. They said, I never saw being in agreement with Azalea Banks on my bingo card for 2024. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Azalea um, hit the nail on the head with that one right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Lizzo be eating. Like, come on now. And the whole, the whole, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not the aesthetic, but the look or the, the narrative was... Hey, you know, it's all about big girls, all about big girls. But I always felt some type of way about how she was trying to push that a narrative, that narrative. But then it looked like she was always trying to maybe lose weight or maybe stay in shape. I don't know what it was. All I know is that when she performed, she was killing the performances. You know what I'm saying? She was killing the performances like like a lot of a lot of y'all that weigh a lot less would not have been able to perform the way Lizzo be performing on stage. Uh, me personally, I, I thought um, I always believed that Lizzo had great musicality, man. So I don't know why y'all was hating on her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll be sure um, has has stated that he has a documentary that he's planning on releasing. Um, take a listen to what Albie Shaw had to say. 
we are going to be producing the Albie Shore Life Story. So hold on to your, hold on to your bridges, and you'll really understand how I ended up in a coma. You're really going to need to call Homeland Security. That, look, that man said, that man said, you're really going to need to. He said, when I drop, when I explain to you how I ended up in a coma, you really going to need to call Homeland Security. Um, Homeland Security, I believe, is involved when things happen internationally, such as trafficking and the things of that nature. Um, so uh, a lot of people already believe that um, your boy was deeply involved in Albie Shaw going into a coma. And a lot of people felt some type of way when they saw Albie Shaw's son being adopted by, you know what I'm saying? Your boy. So I don't know, man. I don't know what that's about. A lot of people also said Albie Shaw shouldn't have said that he was going to release a documentary because now people might try to stop that. But it would look wild if he says he's going to release a documentary and then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Like, all of a sudden now, something crazy happened to Albie. If something happens to Albie, sure, you know everybody's going to be looking. You know who everybody's going to be looking at. So, maybe it wasn't a terrible idea for him to mention that he's going to drop a, um, a documentary. But, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, when is this going to come out? I guess it's got to come out at the time that it needs to come out. Anyway, um, uh, let, 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 me get you, let me get you angry. You ready? Uh, Balenciaga has stated that they are going to be releasing, um, what is it, a $4,000 bracelet that looks exactly like a roll of tape. I want you to take a look at this insanity right here. Take a look real quick. You see that, man? Look, look, I don't know why anybody's still backing Balenciaga. Wasn't they the ones that was the, that was taking pictures with the small kids and stuff like that and all these weird compromising uh, uh, damn near sexual positions and stuff like that, man? Why is anybody still backing Balenciaga? And you see how they be trying to troll folks? They, a roll of tape is a, as a bracelet? You got to be a complete idiot if you're sitting around still backing something like Balenciaga, man. Real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's like, they tr it's like they're trying to see how far they can get away. I'm beginning to think... A lot of these, um, uh, what, what, what we call them? A lot of these um, uh, industries where, where like these, uh, not fashion industries, but the, the high priced, high value people, uh, uh, companies or whatever. I'm beginning to think that they specifically are just trying it out and just trying to see what they can get away with. And it'd be the, it'd be the fools that want to look rich so bad that will drop top dollar <laughs> to, to, to buy their trash. I want to see the first idiot with Balenciaga um, bracelets. And, and then whoever that person is, I'm ready to sell them a fried ice cube. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm ready to, look, I'm ready to, I, look, I'm ready to sell them a bridge. Uh, oh, 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 listen to what, look, 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 look. <laughs> There's so much, so many things I want to tell you, okay? I, I want to tell you about the CEO who owned the, the ship that crashed into the bridge, whose Tesla backed into the, to the lake. I want to tell you about, um, Dr. Umar and Nick Cannon. Matter of fact, I think I might have the clip of Dr. Umar and Nick Cannon. Take a look at how <laughs> Dr. Umar, uh, somebody said he, he led Nick Callen down the alley and then ambushed him. Take, take, take a, <laughs> take a. Take a look at this show real quick. When Princess Onyx grows up with her siblings, right. you're gonna to have to have a conversation along yes. with their mothers yes. about colorism. 100%. As someone who grew up in a home with a dark sister who was right. darker than me, beautiful, but my older sister was darker. Right. I saw how she suffered mm. some of the pangs of colorism within my extended family. 100%. So when Onyx gets to the age where she begins to recognize race, mm -hmm. and brother Nick Cannon has to have that conversation uh, with her mother and the mothers of your other children and your children, your family. Right. You're going to have to have this conversation. And when you start explaining to Onyx that your blackness is in no way a sin or a curse, it's a blessing it's a and blessing. a power. Absolutely. Right? When she reflects back to you. Her name is Onyx for a reason. Absolutely. <laughs> right. It's black power, actually. Yeah, yeah. But when she reflects back to you as her father and say, well, dad, if this color is all that great, how did you end up to reproduce so many children with women who are not this color? Uh, yeah, I right, look, 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 check this out, check this out, man. Um, 
50 look look 50 cent on diddy let me let me explain that to you man a couple days ago uh boosie went into why none of diddy's friends are suddenly showing up for for, for diddy man you know what i mean with everything going on you would imagine and all the people that was uh uh um popping bottles with diddy and the whole nine yards partying with diddy you would think that somebody would come to his defense and be like man he would never do that he's a good guy man but apparently ain't nobody coming to the man's defense Okay, uh, th look, that's what that's what Boosie said. Um, he said, when you when you on top of the world, it's a celebration, and, and when you on the bottom, it, it's a denialation. Uh, Fifty Cent has chimed in on why he believes Bo uh, Diddy has no one to come to his defense. Fifty Fifty posted look, Fifty posted this image of Diddy's face merged with Jeffrey Epstein's face, and Fifty said. 57. He said, Boosie. Boosie said, Where the cuff was his friends? They're not saying nothing because they didn't know he was recording everything. LOL. Wait till I get them tapes. Look, look, look. Um, 50, I don't think they make tapes anymore, but I'm saying, Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look. They, look, that man was, and I heard that he was recording everything with secret recordings. So can you imagine the things that folks, that, that, like, <laughs> Can you imagine the compromising positions that folks are going to find themselves in? Oh, it's going to be a hairy situation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. Let me see where we at over here. Right, look, 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 look. Let me let, let me give you this next one, man. Um, with everything that's going on with Diddy, you would think that the man was maybe shaking in his boots or just trying to stay still, stay, you know what I'm saying? Stay stay out of the, out of the limelight or whatever. But let me tell you something, man. Diddy right now. Diddy right now, was, look, Diddy was spotted in, I think it was Miami, maybe about two days ago. Um, and he, look, he was hanging out with Stevie J and he was also hanging out with somebody. I don't know who this other guy is, but uh, take a look at this, this, this clip of um, Diddy in Miami just living it up. Take a look real quick. Down here at, at Pura Vida by my pad, run into the man right here. Love. What's up? Miami's like that. Yeah. It's a movie. Yeah, yeah. Look, look. Some folks is like, yeah, man, would you expect him to be sitting around crying the whole time? I look, I, I, I would be concerned, man. Look, they're saying, folks are saying this, lawyers are saying this from, from what I heard, that if Diddy goes down for this, man, like this is something that like he ain't going to see outside no more. Like, with, like if they charge him with all the things that they can get on him, man, he ain't going to see the light of day no more. So that 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 might be something that, to be concerned about when you free for a very long time and now suddenly you can't go outside man it's that's that's a horrible situation man now stevie j was in the background of that clip um and i don't know if you remember but stevie j said that he wanted to fight 50 cent he said man he wanted he, look, he wanted to shoot this shoot the five with him okay uh 50 has a strong message to stevie j i want you to take a look at this joint real quick i want you to fade nigga <laughs> since it's entertainment let me beat the shit out of you on tv or something <laughs> I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Stevie can go to hell. I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> Fifty gotta be like. I think Fifty's your cousin. Fifty's gotta be your 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 cousin like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't you feel like you kind of related to? Like, you got that petty cousin that's a super petty. That's Fifty, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, yo, check this out, man. Let me let me let me give you uh, some shout outs real quick, man. Uh, I don't want to leave my peoples out there, but let me let me give you a shout out real quick. Uh, shout out to uh, all right, uh, all right, look, look, look. shout out to Squire Smith, man. Squire Smith said, "Yo, thanks a lot for keeping us with the real, man. I'm gonna look up DMX Prayer didn't play. Peace out." Somebody else, Life with Jones said, "Yo, I know, I I know that was weird in itself. The spirits are still trying to shut him up." Okay, um, the, the Chicago Way said nothing played the DMX Prayer, no sound, only lyrics. See, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, also, Dark Sea said, yo, see how the devil blocked DMX prayer? Yesterday's video with DMX prayer, it, it, I was infuriated when I saw that it didn't play. It pissed me off because that player was so, the prayer was so powerful. I don't know if that's a YouTube thing or if that's just uh, whatchamacallit. So it, can y'all put in the comment section that you hate the devil? If, if you know what I'm saying now I understand if you kind of like him or if he's if you down with him or if you need the devil for something I understand if you that kind of person and you don't want to put it but you know what I'm saying for all my for all my real ones out there if you hate the devil just put that in the comment section and and that gives us a little bit of engagement while <laughs> professing what you hate 
You know what I'm saying? Which is the devil. A lot of people be like, well, you can't say hate. Hate is a bad word. Y'all know that God hates evil? You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on now. Anyway, anyway look. Um, let's get right back to it. Hope's daughter has spoken on um, being stuck in a way. Uh, I want you to take a listen to what she had to say, man. She's talking about driving a Toyota Corolla, man. Take a listen real quick. It don't matter because my dad is rich and because I have this and I have that when that shit don't mean nothing to me. Like, I drive a Toyota Corolla and I'm content. Content. When my dad bought me that car, I, I'm not gonna lie. At first I was like, hmm. A Toyota Corolla. But before that, I was driving Wayne's Acura. And you just learn to appreciate stuff. I'm looking on social media. I'm looking at these girls' lives that are that are my age. And I'm like, damn, you doing this? You doing that? I'm sitting here with my two dogs and my boyfriend every day trying to figure out what I want to eat. Like, I just, I feel stuck. But at the end of the day, I'm very blessed. I'm in a very blessed position. You know what I'm saying? And and sometimes they journey is they journey and your journey is your journey. Hey, y'all, I feel what she's saying, man. You know, um, the thing about it is this, man. With social media, you know what it is. The, 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 like, it seems as if social media is designed just to try to make you feel like what you ain't got. You know what I mean? Make you feel bad for what you don't have. Okay, and you cannot let social media fool you, man. Everybody's just trying to look like they live in their best life on social media. When in fact, everybody's dealing with the same exact situation. Okay, and those that are that are a little bit more rich than others, I'm gonna play for you uh, tomorrow. What um, uh, what's his name? Will Smith had to say about being rich. You know what it is when you, when you have a lot of money, then you're able to get all the things you want. But then once you get all the things you want, you bored again. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying, man? So either you you have everything you want and you're bored. Or you don't have everything you want and you're working towards trying to get everything you want. But once you get there, you're going to be bored again. Stuff doesn't fill the void. Okay? Stuff don't fill the void. There's a reason why the Most High designed us all with a particular type of void that no physical objects can fill. You know what I'm saying? And finally, listen, man. Um... Back in September, right? The artist BG, he was released from prison, man. He had a 14-year sentence that uh, he served uh, 11 years, okay, for messing with a witness and weapon possession. Now, one of the conditions of his release is that he is forbidden to associate with convicted felons unnecessarily, all right? But he may be locked, locked up again for um, linking up with a convicted felon. That convicted felon being Boosie. I want you to take a listen to what Boosie had to say about that. Hey, I'm going to need... All my supporters, all rap supporters, to get behind and try to stop what's going on with BG. These people trying to lock BG up for rapping, bro. Say he put an album out with Gucci. Say he's not supposed to put music out. Say he did a concert with me that he was allowed to do. By his Vegas officer, bro. Like, this is... They trying to lock this man up for rapping, bro. Say he can't put music out on Spotify. App. This got to stop, bro. We need to fight for our people, bro. This man has passed every drug test, community service. Bro, wrong is wrong, bro. You can't be self-employed and put out music. This isn't... This man been doing this since 13 years old. He is an artist. He's not somebody who trying to be a rapper. Like, you know, I gotta speak up for this, bro, because you finna trying to lock somebody up for rapping for his job. Saying he can't put out music saying that he gonna get locked up if he do another video rapping in the car. Like, bro. I don't know what's going on in New Orleans courtroom, bro, but wrong is wrong, bro. You, you, you can't do this, bro. This 
All right, so uh, Boosie posted, he said, um, just talk to BG, and they trying to lock this man up for rapping, man, Say, saying uh, he's not allowed to make money off of music. This is just sad. What do you want him to do, uh, to go work at Chick-fil-A? Uh, well, well, he, what, what, there's no rules that say he can't work at Chick-fil-A. He said, where are the politicians who can help? He sold millions of records. This is just sad. I'm, I'm trying to, they try, what, you trying to take a man away from his family for rapping. Do you do this to truck drivers when they come home from prison and start back driving trucks like with the cuff? All right. So uh, it appears that the situation is, is um, you know, he ain't supposed to be linked up with it. That's part of the conditions of the really. Now, you, if they give you conditions, you got to follow the conditions. If you don't follow the, and you know what the conditions are beforehand. So once you violate the conditions, then you just activate what <laughs> what the terms of the conditions are it just is what it is now um i mean i hate the idea that people could be locked away for all kinds of things that um they really shouldn't be locked away for but and and you know our country is the only country that does that but i mean you know what i'm saying it's, it's, it's a crazy situation man yo let us know your thoughts in the comments below man um uh <laughs> what you think about that dr umar thing with with, with nick cannon man tell me tell me he ain't ambushed that that man for real hopefully the whole video played because the whole thing is this, you know, you got a daughter. Oh, you talk about how beautiful her black skin is, but then all your ladies are. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.